There we go. Now we're ready. Okay. The My Elks mobile app has been a project that has been started out of the area eight states with support from our state sponsors, past grand exalted rulers, Roger True, Mike Lohr, and Keith Mills, as well as past grand exalted ruler, Malcolm McPherson out of New Jersey. And with funding from the Oregon, Washington, Alaska, and New Jersey State Elks Associations uh, to get the pilot project off the ground. Uh, that that is what we've been testing the last couple months and what was presented to Grand Lodge Advisory. The mobile app is a tool to engage members, increase communication, recruitment, retention, and generate revenue for Elks Lodges. Mobile apps are used by and large in multiple industries today. Credit card companies and banks use them as reminders to pay bills for different financial services. They're used across the medical industry as well as in retail, especially amongst restaurants. Uh, restaurants use them for various reward systems to bring guests back into the restaurant through rewards. They also use them for mobile ordering to have online menu accessibility and location finding for customers who are traveling. They're also used by event venues. Uh, anyone who's done a concert recently, most concerts now use Ticketmaster uh, virtual tickets. They do not have physical tickets anymore. They're accessible through a mobile app and mobile device. And recently fraternal organizations have been making the move into mobile apps in order to get additional volunteers, increase involvement, uh, also to remind members to pay dues and allow easy payment of dues as well as donation to charitable causes. Just a quick note on demographics, because one of the things we've heard frequently throughout this app process is, well, in our organization, we have older members and older members don't use smartphones or don't use mobile apps. Uh, studies that have been done show that 65 old users that are 65 and older, 61% of them have a smartphone. Uh, when it's 50 to 64, it's 83% and even higher amongst younger, amongst younger users. Also across regions, 89% of those who live in an urban community use a smartphone. Rural communities, that's 80%. So smartphone usage crosses all demographics, all age groups, and all regions. Looking at the average hours a month spent using a mobile app uh, for users 65 plus, 52 hours a month are spent on a mobile app. Ages 50 to 64, 70 to 90 hours, and 49 and under, 93 to 100 hours per month on various mobile apps that they have installed on phones. Just to highlight some quick differences, many of our lodges have websites, whether that be standalone websites such as salemelks.org or the mobile homepages that you have through uh, the Elks website, the virtual homepage. Uh, websites are relatively slow to provide information and users, and they only provide information about a single topic or product and often require, well, do require web access and they don't really communicate in real time with users. Apps on the other hand are dynamic and they're designed to interact with the end user based on the user's use of the app. It also allows communication via multiple social media platforms and can utilize built-in phone features such as the GPS of the phone. Uh, think about that if you're traveling somewhere, the lodge locator on the Grand Lodge website, you have to put in a zip code or a city to tell it where you wanna find a lodge. With the mobile app, if you bring up the lodge locator that is built into the app, it'll show you or any user the nearest lodges within 50,000 meters of your current location using your phone's GPS. The app also automatically adjusts to different devices, uh, whether you have it installed on an Apple device or an Android device, it will automatically adjust to the, the device you have it installed on. <clears throat> In addition to the lodge locator functions, when a person comes in within range of a lodge, the app has the ability to send push notifications directly to the user's phone uh, that pop up on the user's screen that could allow them to see what that lodge has going, whether that be dinners, functions, special events, or in the event of a lodge having to close due to a unforeseen circumstance, such as a water pipe breaking, or in the case Salem a few years ago, we had uh, water restrictions that required us to close the lodge down for a couple of days. You can also use the app to allow users to register and even pay for events. Uh, if you have the ability uh, through a source of your own to take tickets, such as Ticket Leap, or even some point of sale systems allow online sales. 
basically it comes down to websites are static, whereas the mobile apps are dynamic and send information directly to a person without that person having to go search it out or know kind of what they're looking for. So using the MyOx mobile app, I'm not actually going to go through a lot of the how to download and install the app on your phone. Uh, what I will say is the app is available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store by searching My Elks. I believe I have the links posted on the Oregon State Elks Association Facebook page. Or if you've seen any of the flyers for the mobile app, either in the OSCA newsletter or other sources, there is a QR code that you can use your phone's camera to scan, and that will take you directly to the download store of your that, that complies with your device. I will also make these slides available. These are those QR codes that you can use to download. If you see the term giant killer, uh, giant killer is the app developer that our committee has been working with the last few months to develop this app and get it built and rolled out. There are three tiers to the mobile app. There's a Grand Lodge page, a state association page that is based on the active lodge location, so if your active location is set to a lodge in Oregon, you'll see the Oregon State Elks Association. If you're traveling and find yourself up in Washington and you set your active lodge to Ballard or one of the lodges up there, that would switch over and then show you the Washington State Elks Association. Every member will also have access to the Grand Lodge side, which what will happen with the, all of these levels have the ability to send notifications. So recently during the national convention in Atlanta, Various push notifications were sent out to every user of the app, regardless of their lodge or state association, about various Grand Lodge sessions, as well as a reminder from the Ritual Committee to, on Tuesday at 11 p.m., observe the 11th hour, no matter where you were. There's the ability to access membership and marketing resources. You can also submit a membership inquiry through the app. Uh, how many times have we been out in public with a friend or family member who has asked us about the Elks and, Elks and wanted to know how to apply? With this, you do not need to have a paper application with you. You can actually get out your phone, open the mobile app up, and have them submit a membership inquiry or even an application directly through the app that goes to your lodge secretary. We also had national convention information, and currently in the app, since the conven convention is over, we do have the results of the voting on resolutions and other information available through the app. The app does not require a login to elks.org. However, for certain items through this page, you will need to provide your elks.org credentials. Uh, just to address some security concerns, the app does not actually collect that login data that is strictly used as a pass through to access Grand Lodge materials. There's also community resources, such as the drug awareness and veterans programs. The lodge locator that I mentioned that is that user location-based locator, as well as access to the local lodge and state association. There's also what you'll see right below the active locations is recently visited. So if you're an associate member at a lodge or a lodge you frequently travel to, you can have those in your recently visited so you can quickly switch between your home lodge and any recently or frequently visited lodges that you like to keep in that list. At the state association, again, that ability for push notifications to be sent directly to users. There's also the list of association officers and committee members and the ability to donate to the state major project all through the app. There's also information about the state's major project and other charitable projects and convention information. Uh, come October, the information will be updated and there'll be information regarding the upcoming fall seminar, as well as news and updates on state events and reports. Again, you can access the lodge locator as well as access back to Grand Lodge and your home lodge. The lodge page, again, notifications, but also news and information about your lodge and your events that you have going on. You can have your dinner menus posted, as well as a calendar of events. The top section on the screenshot is a coming events section that actually ties to the lodge events calendar. <coughs> as an event comes up, it displays first in that carousel, and once it's passed, that event drops off, and future events get added to the end automatically. So that is a perpetually updating events calendar. 
if a user clicks on that Saturday $6 meal and says, I want to go to that, it gives them the opportunity from the app to add that dinner to their phone's calendar so that they would receive reminders that they wanted to attend that dinner and encourage them to attend. Here's some additional screenshots from the features I mentioned. Uh, you can see what the notifications look like when they show up on a Lodge user's phone. as well as when they open a notification in the app to see what it would look like. <coughs> if a user wants to go back to a notification, they can also open that up in the app and view all notifications that have been previously issued. Again, additional features. There's the full calendar view for a Lodge event. In the middle screen shows uh, for a Wednesday night dinner. At the very bottom, it says add to event calendar. That again is so if a user is attending a, wants to attend a dinner at a lodge, they can click on that add event and it will put it automatically on their phone calendar for them to attend. This calendar has also been set up. So for the Wednesday night, it actually shows the menu that the lodge is serving. So then in addition to seeing the dinner, they know what the menu will be. And in the last panel is the ability to donate to the state association uh, for the major project or other charitable funds through the state association trust. And just uh, showing again where you could click to add that to a calendar, which that is what helps increase engagement <coughs> and encouraging members to come into your lodge. The app is really designed to be a one-stop location for information, news, and updates. It takes components of your lodge newsletter, elks.org, the state association website, your lodge website, <coughs> and your lodge social media and puts it into a single one-stop location for members to access information without having to search across multiple platforms and resources. So the benefits of this app to a lodge, and this comes from studies from other fraternal organizations such as Moose Lodges and Eagles that have adopted uh, the same platform we're looking at uh, through Giant Killer, uh, who has developed apps for the Eagles, the Moose, VFW, AMVETS, and a couple others. Uh, for lodges of around 400 members, they see an average retention increase of 5%. Uh, they also see an increased member engagement in events and functions of 15 to 20%, uh, which that's increase in sales. The app allows not just members of your lodge, but traveling elks to see what your lodge has going on. And this helps bring people through your doors and helps bring revenue into your lodge. When you talk about increased revenue with individuals coming in, on average, depending on the event or dinner, a member will spend between $25 and $65 per visit to a lodge. So if this app is increasing uh, visitations by 15 to 20%, you know, you think about it in terms of you get six people per month who come in who wouldn't have otherwise came in in a month, that could be $150 to $200 plus in additional revenue for your lodge in that month by utilizing this tool to help increase turnout and participation in your lodge. So getting lodges on board with the My Elks app, our team has actually worked with our developer at Giant Killer, uh, who will be offering any lodge that wants to come into the app, the first three months of the app will be free. Uh, it's not, will not have to be paid back, nothing like that. It is straight free, three months free. Uh, you will be receiving two onboarding packages. One will be from our app developer, which will include promotional materials to promote the app to your members. That's going to include social media graphics that you can use on Facebook, Instagram, or websites, or in your newsletters. It will also include uh, draft emails that you can use to send to your members to promote the app, to encourage them to download and install it. We've also requested that they include printed table tents. So they will send you table tents that you can put around your lounge they'll have those codes that members can scan to download the app directly to your phone. The second onboarding package you will get will be from the committee that has been working on the Elk side to develop the app. And that will include additional marketing and advertising guides uh, to help you promote the app, as well as to bring in advertising revenue via the app to help support your lodge, as well as the cost of the app. 
The cost for the app to a lodge is $150 per month. Uh, that's kind of at the low end of what they normally charge. That's the rate we've negotiated with Giant Killer for the app. And when you look at that in terms of your lodge monthly expenses, you know, most lodges spend $190 to $300 for television, uh, newsletter expenses, postage supplies, there's other entertainment expenses that lodges spend to, in order to bring members in, to give them something to do at the lodge, whether that be entertainment on bands and karaoke, uh, satellite or cable television, internet, gaming machines, raffle license. There's various things that lodges spend to bring members in in order to generate revenue. This app is another tool to allow you to do that. For financing the app, in addition to the increased revenues from member retention and increased lodge sales, lodges can do advertising in the app, just like many lodges do with their newsletters. Uh, lodges can identify their own, their own sponsors slash advertisers to generate that 150 a month. Uh, the suggested ad rate we're looking at is $25 a month. And at that rate, six, six ads cover the entire cost of the app. The best way to start with that would be talking to advertisers who are already in your lodge bulletin. And you can also talk to other members who own businesses and ask if they'd be willing to help support the lodge by contributing for this app. Once you do have someone who would like to advertise, and that is one thing our committee will be working with you on is to help you get those advertisers We'll help provide letters that you can send out to those members and materials that you can use to help bring in advertisers. Our committee will be working with each lodge to help do that. But once you have those vendors identified that want to advertise, you do not have to try to create graphics or the ad itself. Part of that $150 a month fee with Giant Killer is you send them an email and say, we have this individual who wants to advertise their business Here's all the information. Here's their website. Here's their contact. Here's their logo or whatever you want to send them. Giant Killer will actually build the app and put it in, build the ad and put it into the app for you. Uh, so their team will handle all of that. And that is included in the fee structure we already have. That $150 a month also includes uh, additional feature development that we're working on, ongoing tech support, and ensuring that the app stays compliant with the latest mobile operating systems that are out there. Uh, one such feature we're actually gonna pilot out of a lodge in Oregon and in Washington. The app has a built-in rewards system that can be set up that every time a member with the app comes into your lodge, they get a point. They get so many points, your lodge can set some type of reward structure. Uh, so for example, they get 50 points and they come in on your taco night, they could get a free taco. And I apologize, something just set my dog off. Um, but the lodges that want to participate in that can choose their own reward structure and set that up however they would like. Uh, participation in the rewards program would be strictly voluntary, and the lodge would not be required to do that. After we get that program tested out of Oregon and Washington, I will be providing some more information on that, on how it works and the specifics of how it is set up. In addition to the lodge level advertising, I can say that we are working on getting additional advertisers at a larger level. Our developer, Giant Killer, is working with us to bring in national advertising to help offset the overall cost. As I mentioned, they've been working with multiple fraternal organizations to build out apps uh, for the Eagles and the Moose organization specifically, as well as AMVETS and the American Legion. And what they're hoping to do is leverage their entire fraternal portfolio uh, to bring in na uh, national advertisers that would not just advertise with the Elks, but that would be looking at advertising across their fraternal portfolio and help ultimately lower that cost. And so the way that would look is, you know, you'd get a six month bill for $900 and there would be an advertising credit on that bill for the percentage of national advertising that would be attributed down through the app. And we'll be working on getting exactly how that model would look as we go forward. So again, in summary, uh, the majority of people across all demographics are using apps and smartphones. Uh, the Elks are actually one of the last fraternal organizations to look at adopting a mobile app for its members. And I will say we've spent about the last three months getting up to speed pretty fast to make this possible. And I do wanna recognize the team that's helped work on this, uh, which is Sarah White out of Idaho, Ben Braden out of Washington, 
Stephen Meyer out of Idaho, Kyle Leeds from Montana, and myself. Uh, mobile apps are dynamic and can send information to users rather than making users seek out information and can also use to increase member engagement and retention. You know, I've mentioned that membership retention piece and one of the things with the notifications, if your lodge is in the Grand Lodge dues billing system, you can send a push notification to every user of the app, uh, February or March, your dues are due for next year. Here's the link to RevoPay, uh, which is the Grand Lodge dues billing system partner where you can go straight to that link and pay your dues all from your mobile phone in the palm of your hand. And if members have the ability to do that and they get that reminder and can click a link right then and there, they don't have to get a notice, they don't get a letter, they don't have to then take a next step to go to their computer and type in a website. It's all right there with clicks. That will help drive membership retention and engagement. And then when you look at the cost, it's $1,800 a year total for a lodge, assuming no additional revenue. But when you look at the additional potential for revenue, member retention, and the advertising possibility, this app becomes a very easily affordable tool for Elks Lodges to use to benefit their members and help grow the organization. Okay, I'm gonna stop screen sharing. Uh, that is the main presentation we have. Um, I'll open up the chat so I can see anything there, but if anyone has questions, uh, feel free to send those my way. very talkative group. <laughs> and what I can say is officially now we are able to sign up any lodge that wants to come into the app. So if your lodge is interested, uh, we are able to get that set up. All we would need from you is to know who you want your lodge administrator or administrators to be. Uh, you can have multiple people that want to be in, that can do that role. And uh, help maintain your lodge page. We just need to know who those folks are because they'll receive training specifically from the developer how to use uh, the backend content management system. I don't want to show you that because mine looks a little different because I have access to like everything on the app. And if I showed you mine, it would be a lot different than what your lodge administrator will actually see. Uh, so I don't want to uh, throw that in there. Uh, Bill, if you've got a bug issue, uh, just email that to me. Uh, Doris, yes, non-members can download the app. And when they see the login screen, uh, there's the option, any user of the app has to set up an account with the app. And a non-member can do that. And the one thing we are telling lodges is don't put anything in the app that you would not send to a non-member. That is why certain resources on the Grand Lodge page require that Grand Lodge login to open. Um, but we're looking at this as a advertising tool. So if a non-member gets in, it's not the worst thing that could happen if they see who you are and what you have going. Hey, Blake. Yes. Um, <clears throat> one question you mentioned that there'll be uh, a certain identified people who from a um, advertising perspective, a particular lodge could uh, align a particular retailer and that group would help the retailer establish and design and set up the ad. If yes. you've got, in essence, 50 lodges, approximately in Oregon, as an example, do, does that group have the ability to take on that potential volume? Uh, yes, they do, because that is our app developer giant killer. Uh, they actually have teams in four offices located across the United States. Mm -hmm. And they, they are more than capable of having their team step in and fill that. Um, I can tell you from the work we've done with them, um, their responsiveness and ability to uh, get us things has been phenomenal. Uh, they actually had, we needed some stuff for the convention in Atlanta. They had their office in Charlotte drive it down to us uh, so we could have it uh, for the convention in Atlanta. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're very capable of handling that. Do you, have they created any kind of outline for uh, a uh, potential advertiser to use as far as deadlines and things like that, as far as providing information uh, and turnaround? Yes, they have that. And we also have it in the marketing guide that our team will be sending to lodges. 
Okay. Yeah, the, the individuals that I mentioned are still uh, formed together as a group, and we'll be providing that marketing and advertising support uh, to lodges as they onboard as well. Um, I'm the point person for Oregon and a few other states in Area 8, uh, but we'll be working with you to make sure that gets done. Uh, Ted, do you have a question about proposers references? Um, so there's two ways on an online application. One is the membership inquiry that if anyone member or not visits join.elks.org. Uh, so if someone who's a non-member visits that, uh, they can submit a membership interest that goes to the lodge secretary. At that point, the lodge secretary contacts that individual and goes through the traditional application process. There is a second online membership application that is open to members only, which is also linked through the app. And you can use that one, and that requires your individual elks.org login. And that is called an invitation to join. And if you fill that invitation to join out, what you do is you put in the individual's name and their contact information of who you as a member are inviting to join. It will send them an email to a secure online application that they will then fill out and you will be listed as the sponsor. I don't think that online one actually asks about the references, but it, that's how it tracks sponsor is because you're inviting that person to join personally. And like I said, both of those are linked in the app. All right. Any other questions or thoughts or comments on the app? Um, one other question, Blake. Sure. Is there any data relative to what the current um, engagement is by ELK members, either via a Facebook a, a page and or uh, a ELK's web page? So with the app so far, we've got 17 test lodges uh, that have been built out fully in the app, six of which are here in Oregon. Uh, six are Washington, one's Alaska. We've got two in, we've got two in Montana, one in Idaho. Um, what I can tell you is as we've rolled this out and launched it, uh, we unfortunately did not get to do that at our convention in April because we just weren't there with the, with the app yet. Uh, we launched it at the Idaho convention. Um, we launched it at the Washington convention and we just got done at national. And in about the 30 days that we've really had this app out on the road, we've already signed up over 1400 users to the app to actively be on the app, signed up, viewing the push notifications and seeing what the lodges have been doing. Um, that's without any of the lodges really. Right. I can't hear you. I'm on my Bluetooth. Um, for Salem Lodge, I've got the Facebook analytics I could pull the numbers of as the engagement post because we've pushed it on ours and so is Ballard on social media. Uh, we did not start doing social media postings on the app till about mid-June though. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so far the response has been pretty positive and the interactions have been as well. Uh, Sandy, if you, if there's incorrect information, um, contact me with that. I'm assuming you mean it's an address or a phone number issue that's wrong somewhere in it. Yeah, if you contact me, we can change that. Uh, when we loaded every lodge for the lodge locator, uh, we actually did pull those from Grand Lodge reports of the lodges. So if something's inaccurate in the app, um, I would suggest you also need to check your Grand Lodge records to make sure that it is accurate there as well. Hey Blake, hey Blake. Yeah. Um, you'd mentioned Ballard a couple of times and I've been to that, uh, Elks. Um, you don't have to any sheets. They strike me as a fairly uh, progressive uh, Elks Lodge. And um, are they one of the ones that have been an early adapter to this app? Uh, yes. Um, 
Ballard is, Tri-Cities Washington is. We just brought in Kelso, Longview, Long Beach, and Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, here in Oregon, we've got Hood River, Kaiser, uh, Salem, and we just brought in, we've also got Lebanon. And that's the one, you know, I like to point out Lebanon is a small town, uh, older membership lodge with under 100 members. Uh, that lodge already in the few weeks we've been working with them, we've signed up 20% of their members into the app, just word of mouth and encouraging people to download it um, mm -hmm. for that one. And, and you're exactly right, Doris. This, this is an alternative to Facebook. A lot of members don't have Facebook. Um, there's a lot of issues surrounding Facebook with privacy and other things that members just don't want to be on that. So this is an alternative platform to get information directly to users. It's an Elks branded source. It's our content. It's what we want to put out there uh, without any of the rest of the issues there. All right, so I think that's uh, what we've got. If you come up with any other questions, please feel free to send those to me. I'm happy to get you answers on those. If you go back and talk to your lodges and do wanna uh, get on board with the app, please let me know. I'll be happy to get you connected with Giant Killer and get you working with them to get your information set up. Uh, Bill, real quick for your question, uh, your app administrators on the back end will be able to see which members have signed up. Again, that's part of why I'm not showing my backend content system. Um, I've affectionately nicknamed it God Mode on my end because I see every lodge, every state association, every user. I have no way to parse it down to like an individual lodge on uh, with my screen. Um, so that's why I'm not showing it. But yes, at your lodge level, um, your app administrator would be able to see all that. All right. Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoy the rest Great. of your Sunday. Thank you, Blake. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. You're welcome.